of success and self-confidence, okay? You have almost likely reached an achievement at work, okay? You've reached like this particular uh, a spot where you're very, very proud of yourself. There are rewards that are likely to come your way and this could be a promotion, this could be a raise, okay? Which is very forthcoming, okay? Or it has already recently occurred. If you have recently completed a project, then you're going to have good results or you already have, okay? So again, this could be past, present, future. Like I said, right? time is fluid, so know where it resonates. Whatever battles you fought in the past or recently, okay? Something could have been in your favor, but yeah, you need to enjoy this moment of contentment <coughs> and confidence, okay? So just don't, just be careful of one thing that sometimes um, success can get to our heads, okay? So don't let your assuredness get into egoism you know you can celebrate the end of any conflicts that you had enjoy your current position but don't let it become turn into arrogance or you know over inflated ego i do see here that there is a lot of enthusiasm that you have here okay this energy is perfect okay it's a big compliment to any of you who want to start a new venture if you're uh, you're likely to be passionate about a new project that you're facing okay at work or uh, you might probably just be eager to get into in some new responsibilities but that's a lot of eager okay you're like you want it like now 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 okay if you're not starting anything new i feel you're a little bit of frustrated okay with the lack of progress because knight of wands is movement right you want constant movement you want constantly to keep moving forward you have that enthusiasm you've got that go-getter energy okay within you but yeah this also is like it can be like a bit of a double-edged sword okay so if you have that burst of enthusiasm but you're probably feeling it's all you're feeling it's all going to waste like i said right that's uh, I, I love the enthusiasm but probably you feel it's just not being channeled into the right direction so uh try and seek out new opportunities for yourself okay because yeah you're in that mode of like oh i want this i want this i want this okay but i like it because it's in the upright so you're channelizing your energies towards something that you're very passionate about very very um enthusiastic about it could be a hobby that you want to turn into a business a passion you want to turn into a business or any new project that you're very excited about okay but yeah there is a little bit of stiffness here so be careful about that if um you're waiting for things to fall into your lap <clears throat> that's not gonna happen okay maybe you're waiting for things uh, you've been waiting for things to fall into your lap okay when you really literally should have been seeking out opportunities okay so that could be one of the reasons why this is here okay because again this does look to me as someone uh, as something where you know what like see you've already achieved the six of wands you've achieved that uh that public recognition okay people are recognizing you for your work rewards etc okay you're very confident but again you probably want to put in a little more but again, you want to put in a little more, you're going you're gonna to have to find more opportunities to do it, okay? Utilize your energy to advance, okay? Even if it takes an extra effort on your part, okay? Uh, what I also see here is that um, there is some kind of stress that you're probably going through, okay? So either I'm getting that either you've given yourself a break, a much needed little break from work, okay? And now you're getting back, you're feeling ready to return back to work, okay? You could have used this time to be a way to reduce your stress or, you know, take some time, okay? Much needed to care for yourself, okay? You're back with a lot of, uh, with that refreshed, rejuvenated time away, okay? And, you, you know, you're more likely to find out that situations that have caused you a lot of suffering and frustration, you know, things are going to get be much better and easier to handle, okay? Or what I'm getting is that try and be, the other side of this is that try and be more aware of your stress levels from here on okay because sometimes this card is also a signal of continue continuing working you know you're still at work despite needing rest this is someone who's got who's very bad with their coping strategies of stress okay you don't tend to take a break you tend to turn your burn yourself out you tend to reach that point of uh, that point of exhaustion okay reach that point of burnout so yeah that's something you need to do right now this is looking more restless to me it can be someone who's ready uh, to come back after a break, okay? Because with the night of water, you're very passionate about it. But this could also mean there's a lot of passion here. You want to uh, you want to achieve something, but you're not giving yourself that break, okay? You need to reconsider, okay, that your bodies, our bodies will often force us to take a break if you don't do it. That's just how the body talks to us, okay? So you might want to either consider changing a job, if the situation looks like it's not improving, if you feel stiffer within the career, or you just need to take a break and just need some time out, okay? In order for things to move forward for you. <clears throat> Alright. In the 
some blockages, what I do see is that there could be some bad news that's coming your way or there's just this energy where you probably are neglecting your work. If you're a student, you're probably neglecting your studies right now, but we're talking about career, so we're going to stick to your work. This means that your foundation for success is feeling very, very shaky right now, okay? A little wishy-washy. You probably are daydreaming about being successful, wanting some, wanting to achieve something very, very, um, uh, something very tangible, okay? Very stable in your career, okay? But when it literally comes to putting in the work, that's when the procrastination is coming in. You probably are being lazy and unmotivated, or you're just someone, you know, who's wanting for everything to be 100% correct. You want the entire situation to be your way. That's when you put in the effort, okay? You're making things more difficult than they seem. Seriously. You're probably waiting for the correct situation, the correct time, the correct people, the correct way to talk. You know, it's like, oh, everything should be in its right box and that's when I'm going to come in. Waiting for things to be absolutely your way, that's when you will think you're happy and that's when you think you're going to make the move. You're missing out opportunities because of that, okay? You be, you're not being realistic about what you want to achieve, you know? And you're not, be, you're not willing to sacrifice to get there. You need to do that. You need to put in your best effort, which I don't see you doing that. I'm getting this could also be someone you know some uh this could also come from some unrealistic ideals about success okay you have this unrealistic idea about success okay um but you don't see that backbreaking work that it takes to get there so yeah you want everything knight of wands page of pentacles a lot of enthusiasm got it but when it comes to putting that real work that's when you're copping out that's when you're trying to take the easy way out okay so won't be happening could also be unrealistic expectations okay <clears throat> in your environment, I'm seeing that something is not going to go as planned. Okay, this is one of your biggest blockages here. Either there is an event or a launch, okay, that might not bring in the kind of success and the result you're intending to. But what I'm getting more here is that yes, this is also delayed or cancelled events here, but this is more in the blockages, okay? I'm getting more of like your work environment can be particularly toxic right now. There could be likely gossip, okay, in the forms of undercutting that are destroying, you know, the entire environment here. There may be conflicts all around, okay, and some of this could be directed at you, okay. So you need to be very, very careful about that. You need to stay away from the shit talkers. You probably don't want to be a part of that gang, okay. Or you're just going to simply have to deal with uh, being caught in between the crossfire, okay. Just try your best not to be a part of this negativity because that's a lot of negativity. People trying to, you know, um, gang up against you and literally getting two camps, okay, where it's you against the world kind of thing, okay. So don't add fuel to the fire, okay. It's only going to burn you in the long run. This is not worth it. So yeah, if you're being a part of this, let it go. If there is a toxic situation, figure yourself out, okay. You need to get out of it. And the other, the last blockage I'm seeing here is that there's a lack of focus and a lack of discipline here, okay, which is again, making you falter. You're probably lacking these qualities here at your workplace, okay? You probably are noticing that this lack of discipline and lack of focus is taking a toll on your projects, okay? This is also someone who's very rigid, okay? And like a bureaucracy is what I'd say in your work environment, or this is you probably or your boss, okay? Someone who's very rigid, okay, about the way they want about the way they want to function. It's like this is the only way, my way or the highway kinds, okay? This may stiffen, this may block your sense of creativity and motivation, okay? This is also someone who has at work environment, like the processes, you know, that need to do, uh, you know, it's like something. There is a process here, okay, which is very tedious and frustrating for you. That, okay, something's frustrating you, it's blocking you, and you just feel the need to get out of this, okay? Someone literally, I'm getting like choking you, or you're feeling very claustrophobic in the environment you are in, okay? At worst, if this is a boss or a senior employee, right? This is someone who rules the workplace. This is a tyrant. Okay, if this is your situation that the kind of person you're dealing with, it's really time to start looking for employment elsewhere. Okay, the four of swords in reverse and the emperor in reverse. This is also someone, you know, who's literally frustrating you where it's time for you to switch the job, okay? Because you're not happy. The, your job is either uh, giving you too much work and you're not being able to handle it, which is leading to a burnout. Or this is just a boss here out here, okay, around you, or this is just you, whoever, take it how it resonates. I mean, with the three of cups here, with your environment being toxic, and there could, if this is someone around you, then this could be some definitely, which is completely um, 
blocking your creativity okay probably that's one of the reasons why you're not putting in the work you're feeling lazy demotivation is what i'm getting because you're so confident with the knight of wands and the six of wands you want this you've achieved this level of success but something's stressing you out like big time you know and these are your blockages out here okay they're all in the reverse which tells me that these these are blockages you're probably not ready to take action and not being able to solve them okay so just be very mindful about that See, if this is going to continue, then in the near future, we have this lack of inspiration, okay, with the Ace of Wands in reverse here. This deficit is going to manifest in a variety of ways, okay? So, you might go, in the near future, you might have a hard time brainstorming, okay? If your career or your business requires a lot of creativity, okay, it may seem like you're going to be drained out of ideas, okay? Maybe when you sit right down simple letters or papers you know you might find yourself just staring at a blank page okay for longer than usual okay so this lack of creativity the creativity is making it even more difficult time for you to start new projects or jobs so yeah with the knight of wands here and the ace of wands in reverse you've got it you're ready to go but again in the near future it looks like you're gonna hit a lot of speed bumps okay it's like you start stop start stop start stop some things like you know like one second you're really creative about it but when it literally comes to putting it into action you're popping out or you're just not being able to do it because you're feeling so blocked right this is also where the timing is particularly unfortunate because you're very prone to frustration okay and a lack of progress okay things are not being progressed you're getting frustrated you want something fast moving you want to move you i'm even getting you want to travel your, your, your workplace is probably someone you know which is not really offering you that opportunity right now probably um considering the, uh, what's going on in the world right now okay but yeah there's something here okay which is keeping you so stuck so just try to be patient okay you're lacking patience with both your inspiration and your career path okay so yeah there are there are lulls sometimes okay so this is not very uncommon okay and neither can you escape it but you need to treat yourself with a lot of kindness okay do things that tend to inspire you when possible okay <clears throat> because of this again we're getting here that this is indicating three of wands in reverse right this is more frustration more stagnation okay you could even have uh, opportunities okay where you can get to travel okay but you're probably because of this losing that passion losing that spark right you could be even rejecting opportunities that are being presented to you okay there could be many things that would that you would want to explore but you might feel like you're in a box you know you're boxed and or you just feel like you've you've got to let go the chances okay without capitalizing on them you could have <clears throat> you could even probably in the near future turn down the chance to go somewhere else for a new job or expand your business globally okay i think this is someone you know where you're probably wanting to explore so much okay again the knight of wands is literally staring at, like <coughs> at me look at the enthusiasm here but you're giving up you're giving up too soon either and all this is because you're not being you feel stuck you know you feel stuck like literally I, the term that i use you feel boxed right now you don't see any way out to channelize that energy that amazing energy that you have i mean you've come right here right it's the stress also and it could be your boss or a senior colleague who's making life hell for you someone who's probably constantly interfering in your work also making the environment toxic anyways this is toxicity okay this is not only you but this is people around you because we have trees here yeah and of course i won't always put it on the external environment but you too are not putting in the work seriously you have realistic goals you want to put in the effort okay i mean you need you want to reach somewhere you got to put in the effort okay it's not going to fall into your lap but this is more external looks to me okay the three of cups in reverse and the emperor in reverse here if this is a boss who's making life hell, you need to rethink where you are at. I mean, it could be that your frustration and your anger, your annoyance with that lack of progression, okay, or that challenges at your workplace is really also taking a toll, okay, which is why you're like, screw this, I can't do this, you know. Like, I, I can't push forward. I've been waiting and waiting and waiting to explore my options. You, you know, I'm literally getting like, you know, you feel your, your wings are clipped. You want so much, you want to do so much, but you just feel like a bird in a cage. <laughs> Actually, a bird in a cage is what I'm getting. Because look, out here, you're imaginative, you're sensitive, you're a very creative person, as usual, right? We have the Pisces here. Very creative, okay? 
But, and this is you wanting to focus on something creative like art, fashion, poetry, music, any other field, okay? But you can use your talent to create something, okay? Maybe you're even a tarot reader, okay? But this is the problem here with the Page of Cups is that this can, this is someone who will often have trouble putting their feelings into words. Which means that their creative outlets tends to be in places where they can express themselves. And with this here, this here, these two things are telling me that your environment is stopping you from being creative, okay? You want to be creative, you want to put yourself out there, you want to open up, you want to bloom. But again, because of your environment being so toxic here, right? So again, that's something that's stopping you from making your dreams into reality. Because look, one more issue we have here is that this is often someone who has their head in the clouds, okay? Again, page of pentacles, right? Wanting something, but not it's not being realistic, okay? You're not still looking at the kind of work that you need to put into it in order to achieve it, yeah? So just ensure that you're not simply daydreaming about your work goals or your business, okay? And you're actually putting in the effort and taking action to make them become real, okay? Get realistic. Follow your dreams, yes. But just be sure that you're very, very well grounded in reality. Okay? So that's what I have for you, Pisces. I hope this reading resonates with you. And uh, like, share, subscribe. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.